when Shiba Inu showed its strength by outperforming most cryptos yesterday and exhibited incredible price growth that caused trillions of tokens to move around. It seems that Shaitoshi Kusama isn't ready to slow down. He sees this as just the beginning of something truly massive. The hype is back, but what's really going on? Well, let's find out. This week starts with something very interesting in the Shiba Inu ecosystem. An unusual anomaly has shaken up one of its crucial whale metrics. Data from Entity Block reveals a curious trend. There's been a significant uptick in large transactions, exceeding $100,000 within the past 24 hours. Despite this surge in transaction frequency, there's been a notable decline in the volume of these transactions during the same time frame. The data shows that the number of large transactions has shot up by a remarkable 71% totaling 204 transactions. This surge would typically signal a strong and optimistic market sentiment among the Shiba Inu community. As 204 transactions by big players isn't just a minor blip, it's a substantial and serious move in the market. Imagine you're at a big party, and suddenly you see the most influential people in. The room huddling together, making some major decisions. It's not something you'd brush off lightly. It's a sign that something significant is happening, and it's worth paying attention to. In the world of finance, when significant investors start making big moves like this, it often implies that they have confidence, the potential for growth. However, the anomaly lies in the sharp contrast observed in the volume of these transactions. The volume of large transactions, measured in Shiba Inu tokens, has plummeted by a staggering 67%, dropping from 6 trillion Shiba Inu to 2 trillion. Furthermore, when measured in dollar equivalent, the decline in transaction volume amounted to 63% dropping from $144 million to $52 million. Interestingly, the percentage of volume decline in dollar terms appears lower due to the substantial price surge of the Shiba Inu token. Within the same 24-hour period, the token's price experienced a remarkable increase of over. 24%. And here's something we should understand. Shiba Inu did something unimaginable, surpassing Dogecoin even though it was Doge Day two days ago, and even surpassing Bitcoin even though it was also a Bitcoin having day yesterday, an event people waited for four years. And this is super huge. Picture this. It's the day of two highly anticipated events in the crypto world. Dogecoin. Enthusiasts are celebrating Doge Day, and Bitcoin investors are eagerly awaiting the Bitcoin halving event, which only occurs every four years. It's like the biggest parties of the year for these. Two cryptocurrencies, with everyone expecting Dogecoin and Bitcoin to steal the show. But then, out of nowhere... Shiba Inu swoops in and steals the spotlight. Despite not having its own special event, Shiba Inu's value skyrocketed. It's as if while everyone was busy focusing on Dogecoin and Bitcoin, Shiba Inu quietly snuck up and stole the thunder, leaving everyone stunned and amazed by its sudden rise to fame. But while Shiba Inu showed that huge growth, there were a lot of people who missed it. This is probably due to people's behavior on the market as we see now. They take their money and jump from project to project, totally missing the whole point of crypto. They want to maximize their return, but end up not getting any. This approach really shows inexperience. On one hand, it makes sense why they do that. Everyone wants to make quick gains. But on the other hand, as it plays out, it doesn't work. While they were all paying attention to Bitcoin and Dogecoin, as stated earlier, another crypto completely rose.
making them miss out on potential gains. And here's something they don't understand completely, as it was stated by one Twitter. User, their tweet unveils a seemingly simple yet profoundly effective three-step strategy for navigating the tumultuous waters of cryptocurrency investment. Buy, hold, and chill, and sell. These steps, while appearing straightforward, harbor hidden complexities that many investors fail to grasp, often leading to losses rather than gains. But why? Well, I'll... Because emotions tend to hijack rational decision-making processes. The first step, buying, becomes a daunting task for many as they succumb to the grip of fear, hesitating to enter the market at opportune moments. During bear markets, when prices plummet and bargains abound, these individuals remain on the sidelines, missing out on potentially lucrative opportunities. Next comes the holding phase, which seems deceptively simple. Just sit tight and wait for your investments to appreciate, right? Wrong. Impatience rears its head and investors find themselves chasing after coins that have already surged in value rather than exercising the discipline to wait for their own investments to appreciate. Finally, selling should be a straightforward process of locking in profits. But alas, greed often clouds judgment. Instead of cashing out when the time is ripe, many hold on too long, blinded by the allure of even greater gains, only to watch their profits evaporate. The tweet underscores a crucial point. Success in the crypto arena demands a deep understanding of market cycles and a steadfast resolve to resist emotional impulses. It likens the crypto market to a player versus player game, where the majority of participants resemble the same. The tweet is a key point to understand the importance of the crypto arena. By adhering to the fundamentals, comprehending market dynamics, and refusing to be swayed by emotions, investors can tilt the odds of success in their favor. The tweet's message serves as a poignant reminder to aspiring crypto investors. Stay disciplined, stay informed, and above all, stay vigilant against the siren call of emotion-driven decision-making. And this is exactly what happened with most people. Watching the Shiba Inu price chart with mouths opened. While they didn't have any Shiba Inu themselves. But anyway, getting back to the Shiba Inu anomaly. With whale transactions during the 24 hours, here's something we should understand. The perplexing nature of this anomaly may leave the Shiba Inu community questioning its underlying. Cause... Whether this unexpected turn of events stems from a glitch in the on-chain data calculations or if it signifies a genuine and unprecedented occurrence within the Shiba Inu ecosystem is a question to ask. But one thing we know for sure is that this week will be a very interesting one. As revealed by one Twitter user, we are stepping into a week where ETFs will buy another. 1,000 to 3,000 Bitcoin per day. The fresh daily supply has been halved, meaning if ETFs were scooping up three times the daily supply before halving, they're now needing six times the daily supply. Additionally, another Twitter user mentioned a massive supply shock is coming. With the Bitcoin halving, miners can now only produce 450 Bitcoin each day. The ETFs in the U. C have bought up around 3,214 Bitcoin on average each day. Are you ready? This influx of buying pressure from ETFs, as mentioned by Twitter users, has the potential to significantly benefit the crypto market. When large institutional investors like ETFs purchase substantial amounts of Bitcoin, it not only increases demand, but also instills confidence in the market. This surge in Bitcoin is a sign of the future. The surge in demand typically leads to an increase in the price of Bitcoin, 
and by extension, other cryptocurrencies. Additionally, the reduction in the daily supply of Bitcoin due to the halving event further amplifies the impact of this buying pressure. With fewer new Bitcoins entering circulation, the supply-demand dynamics tilt in favor of higher prices. Overall, this combination of factors creates a bullish sentiment in the market, attracting more investors and potentially driving up prices across the cryptocurrency landscape. Additionally, a Twitter user points out that Hong Kong ETFs are preparing to launch with massive marketing and no future short exposure. It's worth reminding people that Hong Kong recently launched its own Bitcoin ETFs and based on logical deduction, they should start their advertising soon. But why does it make sense for advertising to begin? Well, when a new financial product like a Bitcoin ETF is introduced to the market, it's essential to raise awareness and attract potential investors. Advertising helps to spread the word about Bitcoin, and it's a good way to generate interest among both institutional and retail investors. Since the Hong Kong ETFs have no future short exposure, they can market themselves as a safer and more straightforward way for investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin without the risks associated with futures contracts. Therefore, it's pretty logical that advertising for these ETFs will commence soon. To capitalize on the growing interest in cryptocurrencies and attract investors to their offerings. This is the same we've seen with BlackRock or other asset managers. Furthermore, we've received a new update directly from Shaitoshi Kusama. Informing us that a significant update for ShibaSwap is on the horizon. And this should attract a lot of attention to Shiba Inu. Major updates to platforms like ShibaSwap pique the interest of investors and enthusiasts alike. These updates often introduce new features, improvements, or innovations that can enhance the user experience or provide new opportunities for token holders. As a result, investors may become more interested in acquiring Shiba in new tokens in anticipation of the potential benefits and opportunities that the updated ShibaSwap platform may offer. This increased attention and interest can drive up demand and positively impact the price of Shiba Inu tokens. Tax season selling is now over in the USA, which means that investors who sold assets to cover tax liabilities have likely completed their selling activities. This can benefit markets by removing downward pressure on prices. If you're interested in getting into D media announcements, Imagine many investors selling off their assets to pay taxes, causing prices to decline. Once tax season is over, this selling pressure subsides, allowing prices to stabilize or even increase as demand returns. So, yeah, a pretty interesting week ahead. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.